Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. This is the beautiful and sparkly card that we are going to be creating. I'm going to start off with a 5 by 5 inch card base that is 110 pound Nina Solar White. And then I have a um, 5 by 5 inch card front cut here too. I have this happy birthday die which is from AliExpress. I have these number dies which are also from Ali. And then I have these letter dies which are from Ali as well. And I am going to be spelling out this little girl's name. This is for a girl called Charlie. And I am just going to pick out all these little dies. These are, um, I think they're like just over an inch tall maybe. And I'm going to take some low-tech uh, post-it note tape in this case. You could use any low-tech tape and kind of tape them all together so that they are nice and even when I run them through my die cutting machine. Now I am putting down all my dies here. I'm tacking them all down and I'm going to run them through all at the same time. Now what I want to do is I want to keep all those little pieces of the happy birthday together. So first of all, I'm going to put some tape on the back. And then I'm going to put a little tape of, uh, sorry, a little piece of masking paper on the front. And that will um, keep all of the pieces together because they will all stick uh, to that piece, that larger piece of masking paper, which is just another form of low-tech tape. Um, because I want all those little pieces that I'm going to stick back in there to stay together just to make it easier later on. You don't necessarily have to do this step, but you can see that they're all stuck to that piece of paper, um, which is where I wanted them to be. Then I am going to pull out the inside of the letters Charlie. I am keeping the R and the A because I need those little inside pieces. Now I have chosen, these are the glitter fabric pieces that I showed you that I got from Alina's craft store. These are beautiful, so sparkly, and none of the glitter comes off. So this is the perfect, really lightweight fabric that I'm going to use for this project. On a complete side note, I just wanted to show you this uh, new glue container that I'm going to be using. I have been using it for a while, and I love it. I purchased two of them, and I have filled one of them with the multimedium uh, in the matte finish. That's from Ranger. And I just wanted to show you the Gina K Connect glue bottle in comparison to this new one that I've been using. So if you can see there the tips are, I think that they are identical. There is no difference that I can see. And the one that I have purchased is just ever so slightly bigger than the Gina K one. And I just fill them with a syringe. So I will link that down below in case you are interested. I love it. I love it a lot more than the little needle nose ones that I have been um using for the past little while so i definitely converted to this new one i cut out a little piece of each of those fabrics i have seven there and that will go uh, one for each different letter now i kind of went for a rainbow theme but um, i had to stretch the rainbow a little bit um as with the colors that i had to choose from that i had available so um and i am just cutting a little bit that will cover the back of each letter. You can see I've put liquid glue around the outside of each letter and I'm just cutting a little piece of fabric. I don't want the fabric to double up uh, over each other because I don't want the card to become too bulky but this fabric is really nice and lightweight so this is perfect. I love how this card turned out. This is probably one of my favorites at the moment. I am cutting some of the plain silver uh, glitter fabric to go over the back of the happy birthday. And <laughs> there's some really rough cutting for the back there, but no one's going to see this part, so it doesn't matter at all. I'm just cutting it to fit. Then I'm going to run around all those tiny wee spaces with this glue. Now this glue comes out really fine. As I said, if you have that Jean and K Connect glue, which I do love, but it's so expensive for what it is, I think. Um, you will know that it comes out nice and fine tipped, which I love about it. So it's perfect for going around all these little spaces. So here you can see that I actually have the back of the, the four covered in pink, but I am going to change that. I end up ripping off the fabric and changing it in just a minute because I didn't like how it looked. But for the minute, I'm just putting the inside of the R and the A in there. And now I'm going to do the happy birthday. So you can see that all of that is stuck to the low-tech um, sheet. 
I am just putting a little bit of glue on the back of all the bits that I want to stick in there. So I don't want the actual letters happy birthday. It's just all the little pieces that I want to go back in between so that you can make out those letters. Now I peel this off gently and I think there was one little piece, yeah, the middle of that P that didn't quite stick perfectly. But I just popped it in there and then I was able to pull out the letters and that way you can read the happy birthday perfectly and was kind of much easier than putting in all of the letters individually, all those little pieces. Here is where I changed my mind and I took off the fabric off the four and I couldn't find a balloon die that was the right size that I needed. So this is me creating my own. A balloon shape is not hard to create, um, but I must say I kind of just cut a shape checked if it was the right size with the die and where I needed it to go and then recut it a little bit if I needed it to be a little bit smaller but it was pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking some worn lipstick uh, Distress Oxide ink and I am just creating a little border for the card so I'm using some low tech tape just to um, section off that tiny wee strip around the outside. Now this just adds a little finishing touch to the outside of the card instead of me having to use a matted layer really behind it. I guess that's kind of the main um, idea of this. So I'm just putting it around all four sides of the card and obviously Charlie in this case is a little girl so that's why I have chosen pink for the outside and yeah I definitely think that kind of finishes it nicely. So I was originally just going to cut the four out. You saw that where I put the fabric behind it and changed my mind to this balloon. I just felt like it kind of added an extra 3D element to the card, just something a little bit, yeah, a little bit more exciting. So here I'm just adding a little bit of um, pink fabric to the back of the card. Again, I'm just cutting it really roughly so that you can't see any from the outside. And that will be what shows through the number four um, from the front. So again, just adding a little bit of liquid glue, then adding that piece of fabric at the back. And all I need to do is add in that tiny middle piece of the number four. So I just put the four back in and then put the middle piece back in. And that just ensures that I'm getting it in the right place. It's not hard. You don't need to do it really either, but just makes it easy for me. Now I'm going to add the pink around the outside of the balloon because I feel like that just ties it in really nicely, seeing as I went around the edge uh, with the same pink so I didn't even re-ink I just um, added what was left then I have this twine that I picked up in a haul recently and I just want a little bit of that top pink one and that is going to be the bow that is going to go on my balloon I didn't really need a thread to hang down from the balloon because um, I didn't want it to cover up the word Charlie so this was kind of just um, a little bow um, again just to add that kind of extra little element so I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. This is the foam tape from Alina's store on AliExpress, which I love. Um, and I'm going to pop it over that four. It doesn't matter. You won't be able to see um, <laughs> that four that I had already cut out. In fact, I popped the die cut, the previous die cut, back into it just to fill up the space a little bit as well. Adding plenty of liquid glue to the back of that card and then putting it down onto the card base. The last thing I need to do is attach that bow, which I'm going to do with some liquid glue and add some drops, which will dry clear. I love how this card turned out. It is super sparkly and bright. I would also love it if you could subscribe to my channel and share this video to anyone who might be interested. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.